met us on the Headmaster of Jimston High School. What Piermont did is, is it opened our minds to what more can be done to, to improve uh, not just the results but the holistic development of children. The fact that we started with iPad labs and, and MacBooks, uh, you know, at the beginning, as Chris said, you know, people were afraid of technology. We didn't use it in, in the classroom before. And, and that opened so much resources and information to the learners, which they didn't have before. You know, learners are like that, especially young kids, they want to experiment. So we've given them the technology, we use it in the classroom to teach, uh, but also now they have the technology, they start experimenting with that technology and, and, and that gives them an opportunity for them to use their own creativity uh, to enhance their, their knowledge and their skill sets. I'm Rachel Beck, I'm the principal of Galway Primary School. We Piemont really helped us and that was the high schools. Where they came in with their press teams, where we were fighting for a building um, that was next to the school. And that was education uh, and sport. And they came in and they made videos and they um, showed it to us how important it is. Mary Metcalf um, visited the school. And that's where I think they made a very huge impact. Hi, my name is Chris Pretorius. I'm the Deputy Principal of Galway Primary School and we are a feeder school of Jamiston High School. The PSSP program to me was actually the start of possibilities. I'm thinking about um, just achievements in the school. I'm specifically thinking of where we started when, when we entered the Piermont program. We were at an average of in the 30s for our honor and our and that's our uh, uh, maths and, and English results. And uh, through the amount of intervention, uh, creating commitment, uh, actually stirring up the, 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 the will to actually move forward, we grew and we ended up with uh, averages of in the 70. And uh, if, if one were not familiar with the acronym, the PSSP program, one would actually say it's just possibilities, 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 the P for possibilities, because we, we became aware of all these possibilities that was there. Now, there isn't a classroom or a week that goes by without technology being used that we gain from Piermont. Uh, the project that we, I think, Jervis and South School has enjoyed the most was the greening project. Um, the school gardens have been a big thing that we've always been involved with. I mean, we had a huge spelling um, bee competition with the kids, um, and then they did a general knowledge, and they used the iPads, and they popped up the questions, so the kids had to read it off the iPad. They had a little clue on the picture. In the foundation phase, kids were hysterical with this, but there was a technology being used in a different way, where the teachers just thought out the box, and that's what Piermont has given us, I think. Think out the box. Piermont's given that idea. It's not that now it's for us to just carry on going in our own way and how we will evolve. My name is Auntie Piet. I'm the principal of Southern Park High School. My journey in the Piermont program was an amazing journey. I think what um, what, what, was, what was very important to me is when I said that a teacher teaching under the tree can be as effective as a teacher in a classroom with technology. It hit home hard and it still hits home hard because there are still schools like that existing where teachers teach under trees. And I feel tremendously privileged that I could have gone through a journey to take the children inside the park high school to be able to be in a class with full e-learning and all the technology that is required. Interesting. Um, for us in the classroom now it is exciting and for our children it is even more exciting. Um, people always say change is difficult. I found that change was easy. If people wanted to, they changed. And people that said they were born before technology all use smartphones. So to me that was no excuse whatsoever. There is not a teacher somewhere that is not e-learning smart and uses the equipment in the classroom to its first benefit. Cool. Cool. Hi, my name is Inok Tango, Deputy Principal of Salon Park High School. For me, on a personal level, the project actually um, assisted me a lot in terms of uh, being developed as a leader. 
and uh, it made us to be more confident about ourselves and to understand one another. There is no doubt in, in my mind that the PSSP project made Salwa Park High School to become the first public school in South Africa to move completely into a fully digital platform uh, with uh, more than 1,250 learners at a time. We have developed more than 5,000 e-lessons in the whole school this year. It is because of this PM1 project uh, that today we are talking about all these innovations that are taking place in our country. Hi, my name is Ramana Skepers. I had the privilege and the honor of working with the first press team uh, that was launched at Summer Park High School in 2010. That was the PM1 press team. I can say that the platform that that press team created for these kids was an amazing opportunity. Yeah, they got to explore and create and look within themselves to talents that they didn't even know they had. And, and us as parents and even the school, the, the staff of the school, were amazed with what these kids came up with. The confidence that it instilled in them, the pride that it, that it brought out in them. They, they loved school. They loved putting on that badge that said, I'm an official press team member. These kids, at the age of 16, stopped at businesses. They learned these skills of videography and, and editing and filmmaking and, and sound production. And they went out there and they started videoing events like weddings, doing photography for parties and events, DJing at events. Um, it created immense opportunities for kids. The bunch of kids that I worked with personally in 2010, I would say it absolutely inspired them to do more at school. Because they were achieving so much in terms of the prestige, they couldn't see that their schoolwork was affected. No, it actually inspired them to do more. And the technology was, was what got them um, to work with. I'm Mrs. Sylvia Pole. I'm the Deputy Principal at Fuller Park Primary School. The impact the program has had so far, as far as our academics are concerned, was um, the 60-60 challenge that we had to, to adhere to on a daily basis. So in terms of our results, we had to make sure, you know, as much as we have a pass rate and all of that ranging from grade one to seven, we had to look into how is what what is the quality of our pass rate. Okay, I'm Renal Krimovalt. I'm the other deputy principal of Freedom Park Primary. And then it's nice to see uh, today I had a drama lesson and my drama students were in the Piemont Garden and that's where we do our um, practical work. They go out to the garden and they now that's where they get together and do their practical work. So it's an ongoing process and I think it has had a positive impact. It kept us on our toes and I think it really benefited our school, um, our SMT and um, just to the development of our staff.